Hey, I'm Dave from Special Fork, and today I'm going to show you how to make a great party dish. We're going to be making curry chutney deviled eggs. So to get started, we're going to boil the eggs, and I've got all of my eggs in this pot in a single layer. I want to fill this up with cold water until the water line is about an inch above the eggs. Now it's important when you uh, make this dish that you buy your eggs about seven to ten days in advance. Uh, fresh eggs are really difficult to peel, and so by buying them early, you're really going to save yourself a lot of headache down the line. So with the water filled, we want to put this on high heat, and as soon as it boils, you want to take this off the stove, cover it up, and we'll let it sit for 15 minutes for large eggs, or 18 minutes for extra large eggs. Uh, once that's done, we'll come back and I'll show you how to prepare the filling and pipe it. So the eggs are done. I've rinsed them a couple times in cold water. I've shelled them and cut them in half. So now we can get started on the filling. So here I have the egg yolks. I'm just going to mash those up, break them down a little bit. And remember that when you put them through the piping bag, that'll also help them break down a little bit as well. I'm going to put in uh, some mayonnaise, got some curry powder, chutney, and a little bit of salt. Just mix that up. Almost there, just give it another couple whirls. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to improvise a, a pastry bag. Now, not everybody has a pastry bag, so this is kind of a great way to still be able to make those kinds of dishes. So here I've got a uh, just a regular sandwich bag. I'm going to fold it in half so I get uh, the corner to become a triangle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off about a quarter inch of the tip. And what that will do is it will give me about a half inch um, hole when you open it up. And so there's our pastry bag. So now I'm just going to put it into a cup here to hold it with the uh, hole side down. And then we can fill that with some of our filling. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'll hold the pastry bag with one hand and then I can control it and squeeze out with the other. It's important when you do this that you get uh, the tip all the way down into the bottom of the egg so that you get that filling all the way inside. That's one. There we go, that looks great. And that's how simple it is. So for more recipes and ideas, check us out at specialforkblog.com.